Welcome to this video where we're going to find out how to implement an AdBash Cypher algorithm using Python. But first, let's find out more about what's an AdBash Cypher. So, the first thing you need to know about the AdBash Cypher is that it's a substitution cipher, which means that when you want to decrypt a message like this one, you have to replace every letter with another letter of the alphabet. With the AdBash cipher, it's fairly easy. What happens is letter A is always replaced with letter Z. Letter B, which is the second letter in the alphabet, is replaced with the penultimate letter in the alphabet, letter Y. Letter C is X, and so on. So you can see here the alphabet in the plain text from A to Z, and what it becomes in the cipher text from Z to A. And what we've got on this table here as well is the position of the letter in the alphabet. So A, which is at position zero, uh, when it's encrypted, it becomes Z at position 25. And the reason we use numbers is because we can then work out a formula uh, to work out the encryption process. And the formula is here. The cipher position is, equals to, is equal to 25 take away the plain text position. And when we program uh, an encryption algorithm, we often use the ASCII code because the ASCII code enables us to um, convert the characters of our message into number values. For instance, in the ASCII code, uppercase A is 65, uppercase B is 66, and so on. So once we've got those numbers, we'll be able to apply some math formula, such as the AdBash cipher formula. So here's how the algorithm will work. Uh, we will read the message one letter at a time. And once we've got the letter, such as letter A, we will convert it uh, to get its ASCII value, 65. Then we're going to transpose it uh, by taking away 65 so that letter A is at position zero. Then we will apply the AdBash cipher formula, 25 minus zero is 25. And then we're going to transpose it back into ASCII by adding 65 and then retrieve the character matching this value. So in this case, 90 is Z. And you can see here, this is working fine with every letter of the alphabet. So if you've got letter B, it transposed to ASCII 66, and then we transpose it uh, from zero to 25. So it's position one, which becomes 24, which becomes 89 in ASCII, and that's letter Y and so on. So our algorithm will consist of five key steps here that you can see on this slide. So let's go back to our Python code and implement this. Okay, so now that we understand a bit more about the AdBash cipher, uh, we're going to go into Python to implement this algorithm. So I'm going to scroll down here. And even though we have a flowchart here that tells us how to do it, I'm going to go straight into Python and I'm going to do it step by step. So I'm going to zoom in so you can clearly see what I'm doing here. And um, I'm going to start my algorithm by encoding one letter at a time or encrypting one letter at a time. So let's have a variable called letter and I'm going to start with letter A in uppercase. Um, if you remember the steps that we uh, are going to cover in this algorithm, the first step was to retrieve the ASCII value of this character, of this letter. So I'm going to have a variable called ASCII. And luckily enough, in Python, there is a function that's already built in the language uh, that's called ORD. And what it does, it, it retrieves the ASCII value of any given character. So here I want the ASCII value of my letter. Um, and just to see if this works, um, this first step is working fine. I'm going to test it by printing um, this ASCII value to see in, I believe letter A should be 65. So let's see. Perfect, you can see here it's 65 and I could try any letters um, that should give me its ASCII value. Okay, and the uppercase alphabet goes from A65 up to Z, which is 90. Now, the next step for our 
um, algorithms to work is to transpose these um, values from 65 to 90 uh, into the 0 to 25 uh, position in the alphabet. And to do so, we decided that um, the position of the letter is um, the ASCII value, and then we're going to take away 65. So it will go, instead of going from 65 to 90, it will now go from 0 to 25. Uh, we can try this to see if it works and see what happens here. Uh, perfect, so letter Z is um, 25, the last letter of the alphabet. Letter A is the first letter of the alphabet, and in this case it's, it's returning position 0. And just one more test, letter B should be 1. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go back to letter A. So I can remove this, I know it works. Um, I can now apply the addbash formula um, in order to get the position of the replacement letter um, that we want. So the new position is going to be um, 25, take away the position. Okay, we looked at this formula earlier on. So let's try this print new position to see what happens when I put letter A. It's now telling me that the new position uh, will be 25, um, which means that's a position of the encrypted letter A. Um, and what I want to do now is do the opposite of what we did here. I'm going to add 65 to get the new ASCII value and then I'm going to retrieve the letter matching that new ASCII value. So let's have um, new ASCII, which is going to be the new position uh, plus 65. And then that new ASCII value, I'm going to get the letter, the new letter, matching that new ASCII value. So it's going to be... Um, now in Python, we've got the ORD functions that takes a character and returns an ASCII value. And we've got the opposite function, which is called the CHR function for character, which takes an ASCII value and return uh, the character matching that value. So the ASCII value is new ASCII. And I'm just going to test to see if it works. I'm going to print this new letter. Let's see if this works. Perfect, so A is becoming Z, B should become Y, perfect, C should become X, and I can go all the way through up to Z, that should uh, turn back into an A. Perfect, so that's working perfectly fine, I'm really pleased with that. Now, um, this is not exactly what I wanted to do though, what I want is to be able to encrypt a full message. So I'm going to have, um, uh, for instance, a plain text message. Um, let's say my message could be hello world. And I want to apply this algorithm for every single letter, every single letter of this message. And to do that, I'm going to use a loop. So I'm going to say for each letter in the plain text, um, I'm going to apply this algorithm. So I'm going to highlight all of it and I'm going to indent it. So it's now part of my for loop. I don't need this anymore, uh, line six. So I'm going to remove it uh, because I now have the letter. It will start with letter H, then it will repeat with letter E, L and so on. Now, and then it's going to print them one at a time. So when I run this code here, uh, you can see it's printing all the letters um, after encryption, one at a time. Now, I'm a bit surprised with this because I was expecting uh, to have letters from the alphabet, but instead we've got numbers, we've got um, ca different characters here, different punctuation signs, and um, we need to understand what happened here. Um, now, we've assumed that the message would be typed in uppercase letters. Uh, for instance, um, hello world. Um, and our algorithm only works with uppercase characters. So if I run this, you can see that it's now more in line with what I expect it to be. Uh, now, I can either code my message in uppercase 
or I can leave it in lowercase, but in that case, I'm straight away going to convert it in uppercase. And in Python, I can use uh, the dot upper to convert a string into uppercase characters. So let's do that. Let's see what happens. Perfect. So it's doing um, my message. Uh, I'm still having a few characters that I was not really expecting. And um, if you look carefully here, what's happening is uh, this is H-E-L-L-O, or the encrypted version of these letters. And then we've got this space here uh, that the algorithm is also trying to convert because even a space has an ASCII value. It's actually um, ASCII value 32. So it's then applying um, the add bash cipher, but that only works with letters between 65 and 90 or where the ASCII is between 65 and 90. For the rest, we don't really know what it's going to do. So I can only apply this algorithm if I have a letter uh, from the alphabet. So I'm going to add an if statement here. I've just retrieved the ASCII value, and I'm going to say if this ASCII is greater or equal to 65, so it's at least an A character, uppercase A, and it's lower, than or equal to 90, then that means it's a letter between A and Z. In that case, I can do all of that. Um, otherwise, then it's not a letter of the alphabet. So in that case, um, all I want to do is keep the letter um, as it was, I don't want to try to encrypt or decrypt it. I want to keep the same character. So a space remains space, an exclamation mark remains an exclamation mark. So I'm just going to see new letter is the same as the original letter from the plain text. Okay, um, and let's see what happens here. Perfect, so you can see here, it's encrypted the letters from the word hello. Then we've got this space that remains a space. Um, then we've got world and we've got this exclamation mark um, as expected. Now, ideally, I would like this to be a single line. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new variable called ciphertext. Uh, I'm going to initialize it as uh, an empty string. And then instead of printing the new letter, I'm going to concatenate it to my ciphertext one at a time. So ciphertext is going to be itself plus that new letter. So one letter at a time, my ciphertext is going to be um, built. Okay. And once it's finished looping, so I'm stopping my indentation here. So all of this here belongs to my for loop. And then here I'm back to the left. Uh, I'm just going to print my ciphertext. And that should be um, the same message, but this time onto a single line as a single string of characters. Perfect. So that's working uh, quite nicely. Um, just a couple more steps here. Uh, first of all, we've um, hard coded the message but I'd like the user to be able to decide what they want to encode or decode. So I'm going to, instead of hard coding a string here, I'm going to ask the user to input a message. So please enter a message. And this algorithm can be used to either encrypt plain text into ciphertext, um, but because it's a symmetric uh, encryption methods, it's also the same algorithm used to decrypt the message. So please enter a message to either encrypt or decrypt. Decrypt. Perfect. And let's see what happens here. Now, even if the user enters the message in lowercase, it doesn't matter because we are converting this input into uppercase. Okay, so let's try. Hello world. And we can put any characters because it's going to recognize these characters and convert. And if I want to, just to see that, to prove the point that it works um, both to encrypt and decrypt, I'm going to 
put that message here. I did copy and paste it and I'm going to see whether it retrieves my initial hello world and effectively it does. Obviously in uppercase but that's perfectly fine. Okay so I'm very pleased with that um, and that's really all I wanted to do at this stage. Um, now these encryption techniques here use a, a fairly straightforward formula here um, but if you look at more advanced algorithms, encryption algorithms, more secure ones, they work roughly the same way. Um, we do like to use the ASCII code because um, encryption algorithms often use a mathematical formula. So text becomes numbers thanks to the ASCII code. And then we can use a, normally a very complex formula um, to our numbers and then convert them back um, into characters using the ASCII code. So most algorithms would use a similar pattern of accessing each letter one at a time, retrieving its ASCII value, doing some math with this ASCII value, and then retrieving the new ASCII character matching that letter. Um, so whether it's a scissor cipher, whether it's the Adbash cipher, that would be a very similar approach. Well, thanks for watching. Um, your job is to try to implement this now, um, step by step, and to make sure that it works. So test it many times and test that it both encrypts and decrypts your messages. And um, that's it. That's it for now. So thanks for watching.